Hey guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks. And on today's Editing Tip Tuesday, I wanna teach you how you can change and customize your workspace in Photoshop. Now this might not be the most exciting tutorial, but I hear this question from photographers like you a lot after they've watched my tutorials or other Photoshop tutorials on YouTube. They ask, why does my screen not look like yours? Or I'm missing that button, where is it? And a lot of the times it's because your workspace is set up different. So I wanna show you how you can change your workspace and customize it to make it work for you. Let's flip around and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So we have our workspace pulled up into Photoshop right here and your workspace is exactly that. It's the space where you are working in Photoshop. So all of these different tools and panels and menu items along the sides of Photoshop are the things that you are using to work with. And you can change those, you can change what appears. Now, I would love to know, do you know what workspace you are working in right now? And if you do, which one do you use? Do you customize it? Let us all know in a comment below. Now you can easily change it. And if you're not sure what workspace you're in, you can easily check that right now too. You're gonna go up to the upper right hand corner and you're gonna choose this rectangle that's half filled. Just click on that. And Adobe has some preset workspaces already ready for you. Because you're a photographer, I would assume you would be using the photography or maybe the essentials workspace. So watch when I click on the photography, you'll see that these panels and some of the items in that left-hand toolbar are gonna change. See that? So Adobe is showing us now the tools in the workspace that they think a photographer is going to be using the most. Now I'm generally, like I said, in photography or essentials but you can change and customize it more to your liking too. And over on the blog, I'm gonna to link to a great article that's a little more advanced. So once you get there, you can change around even more and customize your workspace. Now you could also customize the color of your Photoshop workspace too. And you can do that by coming to the upper left-hand side, clicking edit, going all the way down to preferences, and then choosing interface. When you do that, it's going to give you a few choices where you can change the color. I generally use the dark gray. It's just my personal preference, but you might choose to have a darker gray, lighter gray, or even white as your interface. So you can choose that to make it work for you. Now, if you would like to see these instructions over on the blog and take a look at that more advanced article, you can by going to cozyclicks.com forward slash workspace. I always appreciate your likes and comments on my videos and thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. I really do appreciate it and I would appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel where I will be adding new videos all the time. Thanks so much for watching. To learn more about basic photography, finding the light, and getting creative with your portraits, you can join me in my free online workshop, The Photography Bootcamp. Register for that by going to cozyclicks.com forward slash bootcamp.